What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video, today we're going to be responding to a viewer comment having a debate basically with myself about how Reinhardt should be played. Now this viewer left a comment on my channel during the weekend and since I wasn't home, I didn't read it until Monday which is today. You guys are going to be seeing this video Tuesday or Wednesday I believe and this comment is quite lengthy and I want to also respond to a few of his replies if I can, if I get to that and kind of go from there. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video and also before we start, Leave your uh, thoughts on how you should play Reinhardt on your thoughts on how you play Reinhardt and stuff about Reinhardt because that's the point of today's video in the comment section down below. Even if there's like, you know, fucking two kilometers of fucking text, I'll read it. No problem. Just give me time and I'll read it. Just leave your thoughts on this video and on Reinhardt, how he should be played. The thoughts on this video, anything, because I want to start a discussion in this video and kind of see um, your guys' thoughts on Reinhardt because I'm very interested. This guy is kind of like the patient zero for this he was the first to leave this quite lengthy comment with tons of replies about Reinhardt and stuff like that so i can't wait to dissect that in today's video and if your comment is good enough and you know it makes me think a little bit i'll probably make it into another video so uh yeah don't worry my friends i will be your shield so the sentence this guy opens up with is talking about corner covers and how he really sees them in team comps and rather how he really sees them in a competitive. Now I think South Korea used this tactic with a bastion on defense Eichenwald against Australia in the World Cup. Not sure about that, I know someone in the World Cup on Eichenwald on defense used a corner cover with a bastion and it was very effective. I tried it once when we had the six man, it was quite fun. but. If it's actually not set up with a six-man team or people who are crucial to the setup, like maybe a Bastion or something like that and a healer, I don't think corner covers is actually really good. So I don't really see the point of it unless it's like in a six-man or something that's set up because a lot of people, uh, I want to remind you that they don't watch competitive, uh, they don't know what's happening and yes, this is a good thing, but I don't think you should use it in solo queue if you're playing alone maybe if you're playing the three stack four stack maybe even two stack if you go uh ran hard bash and kind of trying to explain to your team what you're doing otherwise i don't think you should do it keep training and maybe someday you could learn to handle a real weapon he goes on to say that you should adapt to the situation. Now, I want to say that adapt to the situation is such a broad term, it could be used for anything. Thankfully, he lists a few examples, but again, I have a problem with them because they're coming from a place of solo queue mentality or just a misguided notion that you're helping your team. And that may be uh, the case in some situations that you're helping your team. But what he says is basically he killed times May when she's healing in her little, you know, icicle thing. He starts shooting. Doing five strikes at Fera if the hit scan is not good at countering her. Now, kill time mate is only good if you already won the team fight and there's like two people left that are just there and they can't escape. Now, if Mei is just left there and she's all alone, she should not be killed. It's it's actually a mistake to kill her. If if you can make her trickle, it makes it way easier for your team at the next team fight because you're gonna be up one man while the enemy team is gonna be down one man and they're either gonna have to engage you or back off so they can regroup either way it's a win-win situation unless your team somehow loses the team fight with a man up in which case rip and they're very very unlucky now trying to kill and or distract the fera is not a good tactic mostly because she can easily kill you if she's a good fera you only have 2000 hp and after that you're just a guy with a hammer and she's shooting rockets at you and you should be protecting that head scan to at least in some form or fashion make it easier for them to kill her or you know if you have like a just a soldier try you know cooperating with that soldier to kill that pharah and you know just make the enemy team switch off or just make fair not a problem now if your head scan is that bad that with, even with your help even with like maybe a mercy damage boost or something they can kill her you no know, just change or just tell them you're not focusing fair enough, just no, try to focus her, I'll help you. We can cooperate and make Farah uh, basically a detriment to the enemy team because we're countering her so much. Ah, this old dog still knows a few tricks. Now this is the point I have the most against personally, and it's that I don't think your character is only used for one thing. 
that's a direct quote from the comment. Now, yes, Reinhardt is not only used for shielding. I'm not saying it's, uh, you know, don't, bad to think that your you no know, character is used only for one thing. And yeah, like I said, his primary purpose is not only for shielding, but it's his primary purpose. Just like Winston is used for diving squishies, countering Genjis, just like Mercy is meant for healing and damage boosting, it's their primary purpose. And the way he wrote that was implying that it's bad to use the character for the purpose it's intended. It's not. He says a Reinhardt can be used to flank. He most certainly can be used to flank. Anyone can flank. But it's the exact opposite of what he's supposed to be doing as a main tank. Shielding his team. Initiating the fight by charging another Reinhardt. Now yes, sometimes you have to think outside the box. And also, you have to learn everything your character can do. It's vital to being good at that character. But Reinhardt is not good at killing Genjis. And that's why he said that he's not. He is not used for that. And he can be if you're actively using and for that you're being a detriment to your team if you're actively going out flanking and killing genjis you're not being a good reinhardt if you want to do that just pick winston dive the genji and kill him it's way easier and you're actually using the character for his intended purpose reinhardt is meant for initiating battles with a zarya shield maybe charging the enemy reinhardt getting that 2000 hp they, the enemy team has off the team fight so your team can initiate with you and basically shielding his teammates so they don't die from you know enemy fire dps hit scan maybe even ferris at some point depends on the situation but reinhardt yes he can be used to flank he can be used to kill genjis if you most certainly want to do that but that's being a detriment to your team if you're actively going out and doing that if you're just you know in a team fight and you slap a genji around two times and kill him that's not bad you killed the genji that's actually quite good but really you should not go and actively do that let me show you how it's done now the final point he makes is that if your team is bad and your DPS is bad, you should charge in and initiate on your own without your team and that that will ruin the enemy team's formation so that your team can kill them while you're distracting them. And this may have worked in some odd situations when all of the enemy team focuses on you when you charge in and your team kills them. But more often than not, you're going to be killed while charging and your team is going to have to wait for you. Generally, you initiate by charging the enemy Brian or just pinning something to start off the team fight and basically just killing something. So you are a man up. And if you're... If the enemy Reinhardt is actually really good, he will counter charge you. So it all depends on who your team focuses. If they're in, the enemy team is really bad, they won't focus you. And if your team is good, they'll kill the Reinhardt. You still be one up. The main thing is that you don't get pinned. That the enemy Reinhardt doesn't play with you like you're his doll. And he doesn't just fucking do with you whatever you want. Basically, initiate by charging the enemy Reinhardt if they have one. If they don't, maybe trying to speed boost past them and kind of go on from there. Uh, because Reinhardt is kind of like this big, uh, I want to say, pole or just kind of location beacon that the whole team kind of goes around it's like that fucking he's like the cornerstone or the backbone of the team that everyone just goes to him so when initiating they'll all be hopefully behind the shield and you know killing fair fairs if they have them killing winston will be diving ganges wherever the team comp is you know team comps can get weird in competitive we all know that so I don't think you should charge in alone unless it's like a weird situation where you know the enemy team is really bad and they'll all follow you. If you can survive especially and maybe make a few of them come to you, that's good because the your team is probably going to win the team fight because you're bringing more people to you and they're left with less people on the choke point to fight with. So yeah. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this new thing I did, which is responding to a viewer comment. Never did this in my life, actually. Uh, it was really interesting. Uh, writing the script was actually quite tedious because I, I don't know, but I might have ADHD. Basically, every time I write a sentence, I go, I watch a fucking song and I come back. Like, I, I, I just can't focus on the script and when i was done i was like finally let's just go and wreck this video and get it out so i think this will be out actually wednesday so uh can't wait for you guys to see it and if you do uh for the people who are here for the whole video uh i'm making a discord it's gonna be out quite soon i'm gonna announce it and it's gonna be uh in the live stream when i live stream it's gonna be the description and i'm gonna be live, live streaming tonight 
uh, which is going to be Tuesday for you guys, I believe. Basically, this doesn't matter because I'm, I'm going to be live streaming before this video is live, so it's kind of like Conception. Woo, I'm, I'm in the past. Uh, anyways, I'm rambling here. Uh, not for watch time. Maybe for watch time. Okay, it's for watch time. God fucking damn it. Uh, stop rambling. Peace out. Love you guys. Later. Thank you.